Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with a smashing Sunday video. Today I'm working on my art journal book and creating some 3D textures. I'm very excited for this project. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. I'm covering my page with Liquitex white gesso. It's not heavy gesso so I have to use texture paste for Della Rowney to get that heavy base that I'm looking for. Here I'm creating some extra thick layer and I'll work on a wet surface. I'm using scrap packaging I found in a chocolate box. I kept it safe in my stash because I loved the textures it had and I'm glad I did. It made an absolutely amazing imperfect texture. Here is also a thermopole scrap I found randomly in some packaging I saved before. And then I'm using a cap from my kids toys which gives a variety to the circular shape and adds more dimension. Here I'm using a comb I bought for spreading resin. Its teeth are making a lovely clear neat texture. And again I'm using the thermopole scrap. Using a palette knife to add some more texture. You see how we can use such random stuff to make these amazing textures? Whenever I'm throwing away something like this, I think to myself, can I use it somewhere in my art? And then I keep it safe in my stash and then use them like this and then be happy about it. When the surface is dry, I start adding color. This is the Liquitex Bright Aqua Green color, Fakhravi Heavy Body Acrylics in the color Scarlet 302, Orange Yellow 301. Brushes that I'm using today are from Jassart. This is the whole set. So here I'm adding some orange yellow. I like how bright it looks. I'm just spreading it on the other side also. Then I'm adding Aqua Green color. And I love how nice the combination of these two colors look together. Now I'm just spraying a little water so that I can spread the color even more. Now I'm adding the color scarlet. These two are also Fakhravi's Heavy Body Acrylic in Titanium Buff 206 and Titanium White 104 but I ended up using only Titanium White. I'm using this color to brighten up my page and to enhance the textures. See how the textures start popping up just by adding some white? I'd use some butterflies with Darwin Scruffite 2B pencil. I planned to put three butterflies but then decided to use only two. And I painted them with Koi color brush pen from Sakura. That's a Japanese brand. My background was already very dark so I painted my cute little butterflies in slightly lighter color. So my page gets some break. I outlined them with a black sharpie and doodled a bit to make a slightly realistic look. And then I fussy cut the butterflies and some circles from an old Urdu novel I had and I played a little with them. I tore them and put some white paint so that they can blend well with the background. And then I used a spool of thick yarn to add more interest. Just folded it around my fingers to make circular base for the butterflies so they don't get lost in the busy and bright background. At this point I thought I was missing something so I used my black Posca pen and went into those yummy textures and you can see what a big difference it made on my project. I'm just going into the grooves of the textures and it's immediately making them more visible. Now I'm using my black stamp pad for the border of the page.
I wanted to give my art journal page a sentiment that would say fly but this time didn't work as the base was super 3D and anyway the background was too busy with the textures I wrapped up my project by adding Fakhravi heavy body acrylic in lamp black 793 to make the border look even more darker and I think it did quite a justice to my project don't you think so I would love to read a comment from you guys in the description box please like share my video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you don't miss my upcoming videos i'll see you in my next video bye bye